Hey everybody, this is Keith Krantz from Dominate Web Media and author of The Complete Guide to Facebook Advertising. And in this video, I am going to show you the power editor within Facebook. So this is uh, brand new to most marketers. It's actually been available for, uh, for a while to bigger brands that are working directly with Facebook, uh, big companies, large companies, but now it should be available to all marketers. So when you're inside of your Facebook ads account, uh, on, the, on the left side here and for some reason if you don't see that the Facebook advertising the advertising button on the left just scroll all the way down to the bottom of your screen and there'll be an advertising icon for some reason lately it hasn't been showing up on my left side so anyways once you're there you just click power editor here okay and then what it does is it pulls up this little screen right here and one thing it's gonna tell you is that you do need to use Google Chrome so if you don't use Google Chrome now, you're gonna go ahead and click on this link right here and download Google Chrome. It's a new browser. So you might have Internet Explorer, you might be using Firefox, Safari, all the different uh, browsers, and then you're gonna wanna go to Chrome. Chrome is, in my opinion, the best one anyways. It's what I always normally use. So you should be using it anyways. And it's, it's made by Google, so that's always good. They know what they're doing. Once you do that, then all you have to do is you install it and you click here, you install it like a program and then it just takes a couple minutes and you're done. It's super easy. So once that's all done, all you have to do is click right here and it will open up a new tab and open up the editor. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to pull up, uh, just started using this recently. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up one of uh, my ad ad accounts, the client that, that, that we don't have any ads in here yet. So I'm going to show you what it looks like as a brand new uh, to using it as the first time. So once you're in here, it's, it's really cool. So all you have to do to create an, an ad is first thing you're going to want to do is create a campaign. So right now it's selected on ad. It won't let me create an ad because I don't have a campaign. So I have to go here and click campaigns and then just create a campaign. So I can click create a campaign and I can either name it right down here or I can just double click right here and name it. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this uh, Ocean Shores Getaway. Just, just kind of making this up, but they do have camping in Ocean Shores. So, uh, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter there. Now I've created a campaign, so now I can go ahead and create an ad. So to create an ad, all I do is hit create ad. And when you come down here to create your ad, it's, you're going to basically have the same uh, different sections as you would when you when you create an ad in the old sec in the old uh, layout. It's actually more a lot closer to the original layout than the new ad creator that they have right now. When you go to create an ad from your from your from your from the ad creator, it's, it's kind of funny, but but anyway, the 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 power editor. What I like about it too is you can choose between CPC or CPM bidding. In the new ad creator, uh, they make you select a goal and then, you, then they, they, they make you either do CPM or CPC and stuff. So kind of interesting. But in this, you get to choose your, your method. So all you do is add name. We'll just say uh, Ocean Shores Getaway. And then we will do a destination URL and I can choose whatever website or tab I want to do there. And then I can do a title, body, just like normal, image. And then as you uh, as you create ads in the editor, it's going to save all of your images. And then so as you create new ads in the future, you're not, you don't have to upload them every single time from your computer anymore. It's going to pop up a window with your, ex your previous photos, which is pretty cool. So then you go down here to location demographics. It's the same, interest in broad categories. This is just like the new ad creator. You can now do precise interests and broad categories at the same time, which I love. So I might do RV camping and and then I might do, uh, actually, what, this is kind of weird right now, but it's showing broad categories, but it's not giving me the option to do it. So in this video right now, it's it's actually not letting you do broad categories, but I, I know that's just a glitch. Probably it could be a thing with integrating with Chrome. I'm not really sure. So uh, I'm assuming that it will work. You, you can do broad, 
you can do precise or you can do a combination of broad and precise just like the new ad creator so placements uh, this is pretty interesting here so with placements you can do all or you can do desktop only or you can do news feeds only which is pretty cool so certain ads um, the reason you would do news feed only so this might be a mobile ad targeted ad to mobile people because with mobile market you can't do sidebar ads you can only do news feed only ads so and you've got connections it's the same advanced demographics the same education and work the same pricing and status so you can do CPC CPM or optimize CPM and then once you do that you finish that it's gonna go ahead and have a little clock here but before it will be ready to go you have to go ahead and click upload right here so once you click upload then it will be submitted to Facebook for approval so pretty cool now if I want to go ahead and duplicate this watch how easy this is highlight that duplicate boom there it is I got another one I can go down here and I can change whatever I want for the second one I want to change an image change a headline just change one thing so I can split test I can I can highlight them both at the same time and then I can hit dupe or duplicate and it creates two more watch this boom so I got four so it'll, it's built to have tons and tons of ads um, if you want to upload uh, I'm sorry if you want to uh, bulk import this is very cool you can go down here to options and click the bulk sheet template and what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a, an Excel spreadsheet that's all has all the template in place and if you do tons and tons of ads at the same time, if you're an agency or you're just testing uh, lots of a different ads, you can build them all on a spreadsheet and then upload them all at once uh, right on here and then, and then submit them to Facebook. Pretty cool. So now if you want to do a, a page post ad, I can click over here and do page posts. And then I can actually create my post right here. So click create post and then I can create my message for my Facebook page right here and then publish to page. And then I can create an ad around that. Pretty cool. So and I can promote it with uh, promote view ads and stuff. So I like that. I think that's pretty cool. So other than that, that's the basics right now for the Power Editor. Uh, I'll have more videos in the future on, on the changes they make. And like I said, always go to dominatewebmedia.com. I've got great training, great free training. Um, I've also got the complete guide to Facebook advertising and I have the Facebook advertising blueprint which keeps you on the cutting edge of everything that Facebook's doing. It takes you behind the scenes um, with the campaigns that we're running you know, and how to, it really keeps you on the cutting edge of, of running ads online, Facebook ads, and more importantly, how to convert those into subscribers and customers. So come visit us at Dominate Web Media and I hope you enjoyed this.